Hello, welcome to the Revit series by BIM Technologies. So in this video we are going to talk about curtain walls. So within this video we are going to teach you how to create curtain walls, how to modify the curtain walls, understand the various properties of the curtain walls and also how the curtain walls can be applied to a project. Now let's go to Revit. So curtain walls is a family, is a system family in Revit which is a type of wall which is different from the basic wall that you create. Now the curtain walls are different from the basic wall from the point of view of creation, from the point of view of application and the, from the point of view of detailing. Now the curtain walls consist of panels, the curtain wall consists of mullions and the curtain wall consists of grids. So the creation of the curtain wall is different from the, what we have learned as in, in, in basic wall types. Now let's see how we start creating a curtain wall and how the curtain wall can be created in a project. So the command or the tools that is used for curtain wall is same as that to create a basic wall. So you can create a curtain wall by using the tool called wall architectural wall tool and here basically the sketching tools are same as compared to the wall tool that we have. I mean th the contextual tab is modify place wall which is same as for the normal wall types that we create. Now you, if here you can just see in the properties palette here if you look into the properties palette there are basically wall types based on the system families available in Revit. So the wall types for the basic wall are listed over here and similarly the wall type for the curtain wall there are three wall types which is available here based on the template that we are using. We are using the default metric template for the architecture modeling. So in order to create a curtain wall or, or to add a curtain wall into the project you can select any one of the type from the list which is available in the drop down list. So we select the curtain wall type and here we can see in the options bar the options are similar to that of creation of the wall. Now here in the properties palette of the wall curtain wall you can see that the constraints are the same like the base constraint the top constraint over here the top constraint is unconnected and then the cross section and here there are some different parameters like the vertical grid the horizontal grid and the structural options these are same as of the wall but the options like the vertical grid and the horizontal grids are different now how do we start creating a curtain wall so let's add a wall as we do in the normal uh, create a normal wall by clicking up in the screen let's like the first point and then at a particular angle let's say in the zero degree a horizontal curtain wall that we want to create. Now here once you create a curtain wall you can see that it is same as uh, the uh, the normal walls that we create to the basic wall. The only difference you can see in the properties palette over here is basically the vertical grid. Now here the vertical grid number is 4 and there is an angle parameter under the vertical grid uh, heading and there is an angle parameter and offset parameter in the horizontal grid. So here the number and the justification is uh, is basically uh, you know faded over here because you cannot change them. So how do you basically create the curtain wall type? So you have to create the curtain wall types. You have to go to the edit type button over here and there is a dialog box called type properties. Now here I am going to duplicate this curtain wall and I want to create a custom curtain wall based on my requirement that we have. Now let's see how we work it. Custom curtain wall. Now here basically the function is basically exterior function. You can select any one of the function but here as per the project requirement we have an exterior function and then we have the options over here like the automatically embed. So we will discuss about it at, at the late of this video. What is this? And then the panel, you can select a panel for the curtain wall, what type of panel that you want to have. For example, you can select any one of the options like for example, the curtain wall, you can have it as a curtain wall, 
a you know empty a system panel empty or a system panel glazed or a solid so i'm taking it as a glazed and the join condition here we can have the default option not defined or we can have vertical grid continuous we'll see what is the implication of this in the later part of the video now here the vertical grid we need to set the vertical grid so there are different algorithms over here different options over here so let's say we have want to have the vertical grid at a maximum spacing of let's say 1200 and this is adjust for million size checkbox is selected so since this is selected the uh, the millions will be placed at the center of the grid that means the spacing is between the center to center of the grid and then you have the horizontal grid again horizontal grid you can take as a maximum spacing of let's say you can take it as 1800 so this is the spacing that you have defined now based on that again adjust for million size checkbox is selected by default it is the same as we have done in the vertical grid now this particular area of the vertical mullion and the horizontal mullion you need to select the type of the mullion in the interior type of the curtain walls so let us select one of the mullion let's say i want to take a 30 mm square for the interior type of the vertical mullion i want to take a 30 mm square for the border one type in the vertical mullion and similarly the same as well as for the border 2 now what is the border 1 and border 2 we will see while the mullions are created in the curtain wall similarly for the horizontal mullion we have the interior mullion we have the border 1 type the border 1 type is the bottom mullion and the bottom border 2 is the top mullion uh, so we can have it as 30 mm square other things remain the same you can put the identity data whatever uh, you know is the requirement of the project like the type image the keynotes and the other things based on the BIM requirement and the IFC parameter is a new in 2023 which is a mandatory some for the BIM project you can type the parameters based on the requirement of the BIM compliance now click on the apply option and you can see that this particular curtain wall has changed to the grid that we have done so let's click on the 3d view now you can see in the 3d view here the millions are displayed and the grids basically has taken the millions has taken place uh, taken the place of the grids over here now if you wanted to change now let's take the view from the south elevation here so you can see that the curtain wall over here if you select the curtain wall so the curtain wall is having a particular height which is defined from this particular properties palette and then you have this number 23 and uh, horizontal grid number 2 uh, there are horizontal grid there are two numbers and the vertical grids are 23 now if you want to change them you have to go to the type properties here and let's say if I wanted to have a fixed number now the moment I go for a fixed number over here I would see that the in the properties palette over here you can now change the number let's say if I wanted to have 10 so the grids will be arranged as per the number so now I can directly uh, command the placement of the grids from the properties palette let's say I want a f uh, number four so th the grids will be placed or the millions will be placed as per the requirement as for the span and the height of the curtain wall select the curtain wall and then you have this let's say wanted to have two grids here we go so this is uh, this is the curtain wall uh, how the curtain walls are created now when when you click on the curtain wall you find that the curtain it says that curtain wall so custom curtain wall now here in the curtain wall you can see that you know there's something called curtain configure grid layout so if you click on the configure grid layout you see that there is some uh, modifications that you can do the curtain sip grid layout option is there and here you can change the number again and there are justification you can have the justification from the center you can justification from the end so these are the justifications you can do uh, regarding the the curtain grid so here we have the number like one and zero you can see that how the justification is done so if you wanted to have the curtain grid justification let's say the left justification here so you can have it in the beginning so you can see that justification is there in the beginning and the values are put over here so uh, this is the uh, j uh, you know the curtain system grid and apart from that if you select the curtain wall if you wanted to change the mullion let's say select any one of the mullion unpin it and then you can basically select it and change the mullion type let's say if you wanted to have a 
150 into 150 so you can change the mullion type you can see how the mullion type is changed over here so this is about the curtain wall and the how the curtain wall can be modified and now let's see if I wanted to add a particular mullion or a grid over here or I want to delete a mullion from here select the mullion delete it and then let's say I can select the grid now over here now the grid you can change the alignment of the grid by selecting the grid and then unpin it and then I can have a value let's say I want to have a value of 2000 so the grid will be changed and you can see the mullions are also uh, reactive to the change over here now if I wanted to select a panel let's say there's a panel over here now select the entire create a window over here and then in the filter you can see that the curtain panel one curtain panel is selected now you can see the area of the curtain panel you can see the width of the curtain panel and there are various parameters now you can unpin it and now let's say if I wanted to make it empty or I wanted to uh, okay I want to make it empty and I want to do see that now the curtain panel over here now I want to add a mullion over here so what I do is I go to architecture and there's a mullion option select the mullion that I wanted to add and here we are so now in the 3d view you can see that the and you can just shade it you can see that the panel has been made empty now so this is the uh, how the curtain wall can be created and let's see how an existing wall is there a basic wall and how you can put the curtain wall inside the existing wall now let's say I have a basic wall over here and let's say the basic wall is a uh, one of the wall types over here I select it and it is having a height of let's say unconnected height you are having it at six meters so let's say six meters high now in between I wanted to have a curtain wall or storefront uh, inside the wall and what I do is I select the curtain wall type as storefront over here select a type over here and let's say the height of this is for four meters so if I click inside the wall now can see the curtain wall is embedded inside the wall uh, the, the the basic wall that I have created so this is this happens because in the type properties there is a parameter or a properties called automatically embedded checkbox is selected so if I say apply so you can see that now the curtain wall is not no more embedded inside the uh, basic wall now let's create it now let's see how it happens let's say I'm selecting this uh, I'm deleting this one and I'm creating a curtain wall in the storefront which is not embedded inside uh, the uh, the basic wall so if I now create now there is a warning message that will come that the highlighted walls overlap over each other so this is about the curtain walls and you can have the curtain walls of different sketches let's say I wanted to have a cur curve curtain wall let's say if I wanted to have a curve curtain wall I can take an arc shape over here and it can take any shape that we wanted to go for so that's that's what that's the short video regarding the curtain wall if you have any questions please type in the comment box and please subscribe our channel BIM Technologies for more videos and your comments are very very important to improve our video in future thank you so much